Hey everyone. So I got my hands on some early pairs of Lightning Force, and I'm gonna show you guys the pairs I got. Um, because if I don't, they're gonna be sold off. This is actually my last pair. I got four pairs, and this is the last one. This is actually a size 14. Love the box, yellow and gray. And right now, if you're making your bet, I don't for some reason fours are increasing in value. Um, back in the day, bread fours when they were selling, uh, ones and elevens were hyped, and um, those actually uh, did not did not sit in the stores, but they were selling very close to retail. And now it's like four hundred dollars. And even the Oreo fours, the white ones that came out like maybe two months ago or a month ago. Those are uh, um, increased in value like crazy. I think uh, on average they're going for like three fifty to uh, three hundred dollars. Um, well worth the investment that one. So in my case, I believe that these will definitely go up in value. Uh, this is a good holding shoe, I believe, but it depends all on the quantity stock. As you can tell, this is the shoe, and. Um, the only reason why I'm selling all of my pairs now is because I bought them a lot more than retail. There's no way I was going to be able to get them at retail early. That's the tissue that's inside. It's standard tissue box, uh, tissue and box, but just changed the colorway. Uh, but the shoe officially never came out before. So this, to me, um, is definitely... A good hold. I believe you could hold these until winter time, until holidays, and they should go up. I usually like to hold maybe a, a one or two pairs. Uh, I have like a little storage box um, that I keep some shoes before I sell them. Um, whatever, if the, if that if that is full, I sell one or two, and then I make space for that, and then I just uh, that's how I, I I always cycle my shoes. You know. Um, I still have a lot of bunch of like older ones um, t earlier today I just sold midnight navies and some Yeezys uh, but to me right now um, I believe the Yeezys hype is back so uh, definitely worth holding some of those Yeezys I had a bunch of people like literally last night I, I met a me uh, Mexican personal shopper she came from Mexico um, bought a bunch of stuff uh, all over and she was looking for this specific shoe and I had it and I was very fortunate that I bought it from another customer this is the right side this is exactly the same style and pair that uh, people were looking for back in the day like that friends and family one um, I believe the first lightning fours only came out like um, friends and family and also maybe in Japan um, with the Tokyo 5s but I'm not quite sure because that, that was so long ago I just remember that a bunch of people had them and and I think the, the, the cheapest was maybe like $600 if it was used so just imagine now that you finally get a brand new pair uh, for about $300 the retail on this actually increased. They're actually at 220. I believe the previous one was 200 for fours. So um, you have to keep that into consideration too. That this is about the same price as Yeezys now. Um, so you have to think about if you want to invest and hold on to these. Uh, I would rather hold on to these more than um, any white shoes. From my experience, and that's the reason why I don't like to hold on to any white shoes, uh, they start to age no matter how you keep it. The only way that you're going to keep them um, in pristine, uh, brand new condition is if you uh, shrink wrap them. And to shrink wrap like 20 pairs of white cement floors, I mean, you're going to use a lot of plastic, and that's all up to you. Um, Definitely, I believe that this is a shoe that will go up. Uh, it's not a retro colorway, like you know, like the original black and red colorways, but it just it just stands out. It's like that uniqueness, like uh, when it comes to that UNC colorway. Um, 
it was around for a long time. A lot of shoes in that colorway used to never sell out. For example, um, the baby blue uh, uh, ones back in the day, I think it was like 2012. They used to just sit in the stores, nobody wanted them. Uh, they didn't want no ones, they didn't want baby blue color. And now all of a sudden this season, this summer, uh, Spartan green, uh, that darker green with baby blue was really the color. And Vault Ones kind of made a little hit for the summertime because you know that's a really eye-popping summer color. And uh, thanks for watching.